Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am filming for you a little what I eat in a day video. It's healthy eating, this is how I eat every day, and primarily dairy free. So if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Liz, and I really hope you stick around and subscribe because my YouTube channel is really just to help you grow and become your most healthy and thriving selves, and overall just live a more vibrantly alive life helping you find joy and empowerment through healthy living. This is the journey I've been on and I really just wanna share what I've learned with you guys. So if that's something you're interested in doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell as well to be updated when I do upload a video. That's my little sales pitch for you and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find it valuable. I apologize for the mess behind me. I have a one year old, she's very busy. <laughs> As soon as I start the day, I begin with a very tall glass of water, but then after that, I do my coffee because let's be real, you cannot start your day without a cup of coffee. I use the Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer, and this is just the vanilla kind, and I also use the Gavalia Dark Roast blend of coffee. I also really love oatmeal in the mornings. The reason I don't film too many what I eat in a day videos is because I am just a creature of habit and I love this oatmeal so much that I eat it almost every single morning. So can't share it over and over again. <laughs> so I just have the plain instant oats and I put about a one fourth a cup of those in a bowl. And then I add frozen berries. This is just a mix of raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And then I add about a half a cup of water. You can use milk if you prefer that. And then I pop that in the microwave for about two minutes. All I'm going to be adding to my oatmeal is about a tablespoon of almond butter. This almond butter is from Costco. I love it because it is just almonds. And then I'm going to add some sliced almonds. I like almonds if you didn't catch on to that already. <laughs> and I'm going to add just a few drizzles of honey and flaxseed is going to be last because after I add my flaxseed it doesn't look pretty like this anymore because it's just ground flaxseed. So I add that to the top, you can't even taste it, and it's really good for digestion. And then I add a splash of almond milk. The almond milk makes it just a little bit more of a creamy consistency, which I really love. You should definitely try this oatmeal mix. I've worked hard on perfecting it. The completed look is not very pretty or glamorous, but I promise it tastes amazing. We say hello. Should we show them where your tickle spots are? Is there one right here in this rib? <laughs> On this rim? <laughs> oh, there's not. I thought there was one rim here under this pit. <laughs> All right, you guys. Welcome to the lunch portion. Right now, I'm making a little egg omelet scramble type of thing. So, so far, I have olive oil and onion in this pan. I'll show you exactly how I slice this onion to make it super ridiculously efficient. First, you're going to want to take off the outsides of the onion, like the first peel on the outside is going to be pretty tough. And then you cut off the ends. All you have to do is get one of these Vidalia choppers. They are freaking amazing. Mine's actually bent, the little, little grate. I bent it because I pressed too hard. But this Vidalia chopper is seriously amazing for anything you want to dice. So definitely check Amazon out for these. I can link it in the description. So now I have my onion chopped. And I'm gonna put like half of that in there and then I'll save the other half for tomorrow's scramble or whatever. So I also sliced up three fat portobello mushrooms at the beginning of the week and I've just been using these throughout the week for various things. I love mushrooms, so the more the merrier. And then save the rest for tomorrow, just like the onion. And then after these are soft and cooked through, I will go ahead and just add my eggs. And I think I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on the top of these. All right, gonna add two eggs to this. And if you don't like onions or you just can't stand the thought of chopping onions, you don't have to add them. It really tastes fine with or without them. I sometimes don't add them. Actually, a lot of the time I don't add them. And that's totally fine. I'm also going to add some spinach to this. I forgot. <laughs> so, a handful of spinach. 
big, big major tip key step is massaging your greens. Nobody does this. Why do people not do this? It's so important to bring out the flavors in them. You can tell the difference that they're like more wilted and that's because it just breaks it down a little bit, helps it cook, and it is really effective in helping you digest spinach too, believe it or not. Normally I would have added the spinach with the onions and the mushrooms, but I forgot that step. So. So on top of a little bed of avocado, half of an avocado to be exact, I put onion powder and garlic powder, then I add my little scramble, and man does it look good! Your parents are so This is really good. Yeah. Next we are doing a little sweet potato and black bean crock pot stew. I just browned that ground beef, it's a half a pound, and then I had half of an onion left over from my scramble, and I did about two cloves of garlic. Next, all you're gonna add is one can of black bean, one can of petite diced tomatoes, and one can of tomato sauce, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and then all the other seasonings I show you are really just to your personal preference. As you can see, I kind of just sprinkle them on top. And later if I taste it and it's not quite what I was expecting, I'll add a little bit more of whatever I think it needs. <laughs> Honestly, this is a creation of my own, but I'm obsessed. Also, if you don't like spicy, do not add crushed red pepper because it gives it a little bit of a bite. This is definitely my kind of comfort food that's guilt-free and it's so perfect for the cold nights when you're just really in need of something warm and this gets you really, really full. I'll make sure to put everything in the description box, all the ingredients, so you know how to make this for yourselves because I realize I went pretty fast. I'm ending the evening with some turmeric and soothing caramel bedtime tea. Turmeric is really good for glowy skin and the bedtime tea, it's, it tastes good and I think it helps me get some sleep. So I just add that to some hot water. I always love these little sayings on the tea bag, so thought I'd share. I add a little bit of honey, a little bit of lemon, and that is how I end my full day of eating. All right, you guys, I apologize that we're in the car, so you can probably hear the car. It's a little bit noisy, but that's it for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it very useful and gave you some really good ideas for what you want to make. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really, really love to have you as a part of this family. Like I said, my goal for my YouTube channel is to help you find joy and empowerment through healthy living, help you live a more vibrant and thriving life. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video by me. And make sure you leave a comment down below which meal you thought looked the most delicious. Enjoy, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye-bye.